Hi there and welcome to this quick dev update for motion matching for Unity. So I know I've been a bit quiet and haven't done one of these in a long while, but you know, Christmas holidays and I've been working on Strider, but that's almost done. And I've got some exciting things coming for MXM, uh, something that I've already done this week. And also I've just got a, a lot of plans. I, I really want to improve the system and add things that, um, you know, aren't necessarily known, um, things like environmental matching and experimental stuff. Um, so that aside, let's have a look at what has happened in the last week of development with motion matching for Unity. I've reworked the blending code. So this is not so much the matching algorithm or anything, it's just how the animations blend together and override each other. So I've reworked it and it's just it's 10 times smoother than it was before. Uh, a lot of things like animation jitters that you would get, especially with cut clips, are you know, more or less gone. Uh, it's much more forgiving for cut clip users. Uh, if you have discontinuity, it's much more forgiving for having less coverage. Still, you do still need those underlying animations to be good, and you do still want coverage. However, it's just less, uh, it's just more forgiving if you don't in a particular situation. It just blends smoothly across that rather than you know, getting a, a really harsh blend, which is what was happening before. I've also reduced a blending frame dependency, which was unfortunately there and I didn't know about it. Um, so now you should get much better results, um, you know, at different frames. You'll get the exact same blending result, which is good. Um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much it. It's a very small update, um, but it has a massive impact on the quality of the animation. Now this character was a very, already tweaked very well. I spent a lot of time on it, so um, it's not the best candidate to look at to actually see these uh, improvements, but um, I've used it on a few other characters and the difference is amazing. I really want to see what happens uh, with mocap uh, users, see how how much improved that makes it. One thing in particular that I've noticed is things like um, snapping when leaning. So, I mean, you know, doing an arc and then suddenly you go straight. Before it would harshly snap back up into place or we'd harshly, um, you know, go between left and right. And that's just so much smoother now. Um, yeah, I'm really, really excited about this improvement. So let's have a quick look at the MXM demo, so the, the one that actually is in the package with Robot Carl, and we'll see a similar thing. Still, the underlying animations aren't great, but again, um, just a way more forgiving blending system. So we can see here, uh, if, if you remember correctly, Robot Carl has always had this problem where his acceleration animation never flowed into the running animation, resulting in a really large gap in continuity. and that still exists, but you don't see that jitter when going in between the acceleration and the and the full running speed anymore. It's kind of it's way smoothed out. Um, you can sometimes still see a little bit of a head bop, um, but it's never as harsh as before. And just the whole thing is m much smoother, and the animation seems to flow a lot more than it used to. Um, I feel like this is something that MXM's uh, been missing for a long time and I'm really happy to um, get that in there. Uh, this also you know goes on to all these events and stuff the blending between um, you know just running and going into an event is also just much smoother and this has also enabled me to do a few other fixes I won't go into detail they're technical in nature but it's all very helpful for cut clips. One thing I have also noticed is that after I, I change the blending algorithm these separate blend times for you know general matching events and idle I'm not sure if they're really necessary anymore because I've been setting them all at the exact same amount and I haven't found a problem with that so I might take away the three options and just have the one for blend time I'll still allow you to change the blend time through code but I just don't see the point in having three blend times um, specified when it works just fine uh, with just one for everything most of the time. So there we have it. Uh, that is a quick dev update. Um, look forward to it. A little bit more experimentation. A few more things I want to try out uh, now that this blending is better before I update, but it'll be coming soon. And yeah, I'll catch you next time.